HUG stands for hope, understanding, grace, and success. And those are our four values. And we have every shift filled. We are not one of those restaurants that has a help wanted sign out. We have never had a help wanted sign out. In recent years, it's been said that no one wants to work anymore. But at Hugs Cafe in historic downtown McKinney, that couldn't be further from the truth. After opening in 2015, founder Ruth Thompson has never had to go looking for workers. Instead, they eagerly arrive every day, happy to make this groundbreaking cafe run like clockwork. Hey, Blaine. How are you today? Good. 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 How's your day been? Good. Good. All of our employees, except for our top management, have disabilities. They may be on the autism spectrum, Down syndrome, cerebral palsy, who have been sitting at home with nothing to do. Here at the restaurant, we have 26 adults with disabilities who work here. We're very proud of the fact that we don't pay them sub-minimum wage. They love it. They know their jobs, they come in, they know what to do, they have friends here, they have meaning to their lives. Whereas truly, truly, they would be sitting at home, watching TV, playing video games, and no purpose. Do I get a hug? Did you, has your day been going good? Yes. Have you been busy? Yes. Good. Hugs serves the community by providing jobs to a misunderstood population. Here is your whole peach gobbler with Caesar side salad. Most people don't know that the unemployment rate for adults with disabilities who are capable of working is over 80%. What we do here at the cafe is we carve jobs to meet a person's ability. You treat them with kindness and respect and you have an employee for life. We're proof. We're proof positive of that. We've got the, our greeter today, Sierra. She loves facing the customers. And then we have some in the kitchen who don't even make me talk to somebody. So, you know, we've looked at where Seems their like strengths are. Else. Exactly. Dear Heavenly Father, please bless among our customers as they come in to dine on our delicious food. The young man, Danny, who said our prayer this morning. Danny has actually uh, attended our training academy because he wanted to learn more skills and he's now spending time in the kitchen. He's able to work anywhere. One, two, three. Hugs, 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 yeah! I've never worked at a restaurant before, but I've always uh, dreamt of it. I think I've already learned everything I know here. I've done all the, uh, the sandwich making, making the sides, doing the dishes, serving, uh, greeting, busing, doing the cash register. I read that before you worked at Hugs and really were in the workforce, that you would spend a lot of time in your room and not like go out. <laughs> Is that true? <laughs> I don't know where you would get such a crazy notion <laughs> like that. We knew in the beginning we had to have good food. People would come in for the mission. If we didn't have really great food, they're not going to keep coming back. Our customers have been coming here for years. As Ruth says, come for the mission and stay for the food. Unique sandwiches, fresh salads, and sweet treats make up their menu. But our number one thing that we sell is our wedding cake cookies. You're not only fed with good food, you're fed with an incredible experience. Everyone that eats here 
walks out with a smile on their face. My husband usually tells people, go to hugs on your worst day because you can't leave hugs in a bad mood. How is it today? Were you pretty busy? Yeah. Yeah. Good, good. Did you get to make some sandwiches today? Yeah. Hugs Cafe takes pride in being warm and friendly where everyone leaves satisfied, and most diners are. But it's their founder who is left wanting more. Ruth has seen the incredible impact of the cafe, and she knows the Hugs model can thrive in a variety of industries. Hugs Enterprises now includes a greenhouse and a restaurant training academy. There's too many people that need jobs in this community. At the training academy, we are teaching them how to work in food service and hospitality. They leave there with their food handler certification. This concept can work anywhere that has a group of people who are dedicated to this population and want to make their lives better. I would love to see a hugs in every town across the country. After the events of the past few years, what city in America couldn't use more hugs? Ruth Thompson is cooking up big dreams from their little cafe in North Texas. They've only just begun to change lives, and Ruth knows that with enough heart and enough helpers, this organization can wrap its arms around any problem. Every person working here is a success story. What do you like best about your job here? I, I guess everything. Uh, being, uh, being useful here, seeing everyone get, uh, giving out physical hugs. When I walk out these doors, it's so much more than any paycheck ever, ever gave me. Giving someone else's life a purpose, that's what we're doing. Thank you.